Uh, a clinical trial helps us to understand where drugs go, how well they work, and if they offer an advantage above and beyond what we already have to treat patients. We have to have clinical trials within drug development and cancer in order to make sure that we have the best treatments not only now but in the future. Phases of trials are generally grouped into three or four categories. Phase one is the first time the drug is used in a human being and typically in cancer patients it is in patients with more advanced cancers that have progressed despite other therapies that have been used. When there is a signal of activity in phase one trials then the drug would move into phase two trials. Those trials tend to have anywhere from 60 to 100 patients and are the beginnings of asking the question of, does this drug work in a specific cancer type? Phase three trials are the definitive trial for a drug prior to approval by the FDA or another regulatory body. Those trials tend to have hundreds to thousands of patients and really ask the question, is this drug better than what we're doing right now? A very big part of a phase one trial is trying to understand the biology of the drug and its effect in patients. We ask a lot of patients on phase one trials. We collect a lot of blood and tissue samples in order to really understand, did the drug get where it needed to be and what effect did it have on the cancer as well as potential side effects. Uh, in phase one trials specifically, in my area of focus, uh, historically the rates of response have been about 10%. And those are clinically meaningful responses. In our space and in our unit, we believe that every patient walking in the door is going to be that one in 10 until it's proven otherwise. They are people who have the, uh, the highest degree of courage. They have been on a cancer journey and certainly have come to us with the understanding that uh, they have not responded optimally to previous therapies and they're getting a drug that may not have ever been given to another human being and so therefore they are writing the product information. They're writing the side effects for this drug as it goes through development. And that takes a lot of courage to really uh, place their trust in us and receive a drug that no one else has received before.